Welcome back, students. This is Lesson 32, Session 2, and we're going to be working on combining angles. So turn to page 699 in your Volume 2 math book. All right, our problem here says, Waylon and Andres play a puzzle game. The goal is to fill a tray with three same-size triangular puzzle pieces. There should be no gaps or overlaps between the pieces. What is the measure of the bottom angle of the tray. So what is the measure of the bottom angle of the tray? Okay, so here's our tray and we're trying to fit three pieces in our tray to see how much each measure is worth. So there's a couple of ways that we can do this. The first way is we can measure the total of the entire tray. So we're gonna get our protractor and we're gonna line it up on the vertex there we go. So this is on my zero. I'm going to follow it around. And it looks like, oh, I'm not quite lined up there. There we go. And if I follow it all the way around, it looks like it's lined up to the 150 degrees. So all together, my tray equals 150 degrees. So what is each size of a puzzle piece? This right here tells me that this piece is 50 degrees and the pieces are the same size. So if I do 50 degrees plus 50 degrees plus 50 degrees and I add those together I still get 150 degrees. So I could have solved this problem without even measuring, but it's good to measure to make sure you check your work. So 50, 50, and 50 equals 150 degrees. So the bottom of the measure angle is 150 degrees. Let's turn to page 700. Right here it shows an example where it shows that each piece is worth the 50 degrees. And then down here, it's um, showing where you can start, you can use a protractor. And if you jump 50, 50, and 50, you would still end up at 150 degrees. We're going to skip down here to number three. So uh, the blue piece we knew was worth 50 degrees, and so was the yellow, and so was the green. So if I add this together, this angle of the bottom of the tray is 150 degrees. That's all we're going to complete on page 701. Let's turn to page 702. The angle between each spoke on a wheel of Sophia's bicycle measures 15 degrees. So it's saying between each line is 15 degrees on this bicycle. Sophia puts reflectors on two spokes as shown. What is the measure of the angle between the two spokes with the reflectors? So that means I have to figure out from here to here. So if I know each of these is worth 15, let's see how many, t how many spaces there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have to do 15 seven times. Instead of trying to add 15 over and over and over again, I'm going to use my skills of multiplication to solve this problem. So if I use my area model, I have 10 plus 5, and then I'm going to put my 7 over here. 7 times 10 is 70, 7 times 5 is 35. 70 plus 35 is 105 degrees. Does that look like it's 105 degrees? Yeah, it looks just a little bit bigger than a right angle. So if I measure here, yep, it's just a little bit bigger than a right angle. It's an obtuse angle. So that sounds like a reasonable answer. Gina sets two floor tiles as shown at the right. What is the measure of the blue angle? 
show your work. Okay, so I have these two tiles right here. I have 108 degrees plus 53 degrees equals. So 8, 9, 10, 11, carry a 1, 6, and 1. So the blue um, angle is 161 degrees because 108 plus 53 equals 161. Number 8. What is the sum of the measures of all the angles that are labeled in the picture shown? So we have to add all of these together. 120, 65, 25, and 45. 5, 10, 15, carry my 1. 4, 5, 6, plus 6 is 12, 13, 14, 15, carry my 1. 255 degrees, and that's an answer. All right, let's turn to page 703. Look at the example above. Suppose three spotlights are placed to have a common endpoint. So right here it shows us that one spotlight is worth 24 degrees. So this wants to know if we have three spotlights together, what is it going to be? It says, what is the measure of the greater angle formed by the beams of the three spotlights? So if we have one, but we need three, that means we're going to do 24 plus 24 degrees plus 24 degrees. Or you can do 24 degrees times three. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Carry my 1, 2, 4, 6, 72 degrees. Another way to compose a 90 de 96 degree angle is to combine two angles, a 90 degree angle and a 6 degree angle. Write an addition equation to show why this is true. So up here, it showed 24 plus 24 plus 24. So they had four spotlights up here. We had three spotlights right here. But now down here, they're wanting to know what's another way to do this. So if we want 96 degrees, another way we could do it, they say, is by 6 degrees and 90 degrees. So we could do 90 degrees plus 6 degrees equals 96 degrees. Take a look at page 704 at the top. Tell whether each statement is true or false. A 20 degree angle and a 70 degree angle can be composed into a 90 degree angle. Well, 70 plus 20 equals 90, so that is true. Three 40 degree angles can compose an angle that measures 340. So let's add 40 three times. 4, 8, 12, that is not 340, so that is false. A 15 degree angle and a 60 degree angle compose an angle that measures 75 degrees. 60 plus 15, 6 plus 1 is 7, so that one is true. Four 50 degree angles can be composed into a 200 degree angle. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, so that one is true, 200 degrees. Number four, look at the drawing of a hand fan at the right. The angle between each wooden stick on the fan is 12 degrees. There are 11 of these angles that combine to form the open fan. What is the measure of the blue angle on the open fan? Show your work. So we know each one of them is 12, and it says that there's 11 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's going to take a long time to do 10 times 11. So I'm actually going to draw an area model. Ten times ten is one hundred. Ten times one is ten. Ten times two is twenty. Two times one is two. Now I'm going to add all this together. And 
And my answer is 132 degrees. Our last problem. Sam lifts the front of his skateboard at a 15 degree angle to the ground as he gets ready to jump. He lifts his skateboard another 27 degrees when he jumps. What is the measure of the angle that Sam lifts his skateboard? So over here we're going to add 27 degrees plus 15 degrees. And if you like to write it up and down, if that's easier for you, then I highly recommend doing that. So 7 plus 5 is 12. Carry my 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 42 degrees. That's it for session two. I will see you back for session three.